we love going to Morton Island. It's a it's our little home away from home, I guess, our little paradise. And and this year was the first time that we get to take Sky along, so really looking forward to it. something so special about driving onto the barge and heading over to the island and when you see it it's just amazing the water turns turquoise heading down to Kringle's always great it's worth the trip just for the oysters in our secret little location but ultimately ending up at the gutter bar is what it's all about before heading down to the beach to watch the sunset. I hope it's the first of so many more trips with Skye as she grows up and enjoys this island with us. It's just magic. It's really fun finding little hermit crabs at this beach. I really like it. There are places on the island that simply don't have anyone else around. It's just amazing to have a whole bay to yourself and that's when you get to have a bit of a play at Champagne Pools. The water just makes you feel so alive as it bubbles and stirs and splashes into you and you just feel a million dollars. I love just reconnecting with nature, you know, getting away from the city and it makes me feel just so lucky to be living here in Queensland to have this on your back doorstep. It's just, it's just amazing. I really like it in the desert, even though it's hot. And I like having time with my dad going down sand tobogganing. It's really fun and I love it. those little family moments, the time that I get to spend with Max, and Brenda and Skye that just make you know, living here and being on Morton Island just so magical. I'll be back next year. You gonna be back next year Maxie? Yeah.